Saturday no pepi pa wa sorry. Hey, na wa shuma. Enye wa na beko wa shuma. Enye ko toa wa sa ku kwa brow. Enye ko si. Hey, wa penkati ibi se wa penkati ya. O dia support no. Chale ne de. Ne de. So, I am bringing you Hausa Koko this Saturday morning. And I'm bringing you Hausa Koko not made with millet too. Hausa Koko made with rice. Charlie, you will love this recipe, I tell you. So join me, let's do this together. So for my house I cook made with rice and um, my recipe I, what I do I like to pan toast my rice first okay the reason is it gives you a very distinct taste okay Th there's this nuttiness that comes with it right so I pan toast it or you can put it in the oven if you want before I soak it overnight you can omit this step if you don't have time or you don't want that taste okay you just straight away you soak your rice overnight or you can even decide not to soak it hey coco you are going to cook it so you can decide you can do whatever you want at i at this stage of this recipe okay so it's overnight just at the action and i'm going to blend my rice i've washed it nicely nicely washed and put it in my blender and i'm going to blaze it okay like it's no one's business okay once it's blended i'm going to sieve it right i will strain it that's on this one a little chaff now a woman I can just get that one out okay so yeah i'm i'm straining right now and uh yeah you get a little bit of chap depending on how um good your blender is okay if your blender is very very good right you can get nothing right if it's not very good so you can get plenty then you can go in and blend again you try your luck maybe uh, the second third time i been smooth but here are spices so i cook so i also cook here the spices no a spice rice recipe so that's my ginger my chili powder my winter and cloves okay i'll write the, all the three uh, names in the description box for you okay so i'll blend out one as well to be as smooth at, as i can okay and then i'm going to sieve it anyway so i'm not bothered whether it's smooth or not okay so i sieve it straight into the um the rice that we've blended okay so um the color of your um porridge or your cocoa will depend on how much chilies you put in okay me i like chilies in my house cocoa me so i add a lot of pepper right red pepper so here i've added a little bit of salt to a little bit of water that has been boiling okay so um i just poured in my rice mixture okay and I'm, I'm going to whisk it you can use a spoon or a ladle or a wooden spoon whatever you have but i prefer to use the whisk because then it's avoid you know it's stop it avoids the lamping <laughs> it doesn't lamp just say nyaba hey all right the bro you do anyway so i keep stirring it and um then yeah it's like making normal cocoa once it boils that is it but then when it gets thicker you can add some water this recipe is very simple but i must warn you though that if you are going into this recipe thinking of hausa cocoa with millet forget it it doesn't taste the same this is rice okay so the rice lovers the people who like to i know someone here or real musa i know i wanted my friend who re a mo for you to be wanted this recipe you love it so you are going to drink it shabre so why win him so yeah that is a recipe done there very simple and it is very delicious so you can give it a try if you're allergic to millet or something or you don't like millet or you can't find millet you can try it and use the rice and um i know you're going to love it so thank you all for joining me i didn't say welcome oh you are all welcome to the channel okay welcome and um don't forget to like this video share and subscribe okay and i'm going to be sharing my kose recipe with you soon too okay i'll see you in the very next one bye